In this video, we're going to focus on drawing curves with arc in Canvas. And this is a very tricky, tricky topic. So let's start to continue on and look what we have. So right now we have all of this item here from the previous video. So I assume you have this. Make sure you have this because this is really crucial. So what I want to do here is basically draw the arc. And to draw the arc, we have six commands that we're going to work with. So let me first break down these commands and then after I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to do and how we can easily understand them. So the first is basically this. If we do an arc, we have to indicate the arc and then in the arc there will be six variables that we're going to use or six arguments. First one will be the x position, next one will be the y position, which is the most common one. We would indicate our starting point. Once we have this, we have another item which is called the radius and I'm going to explain it on radius as well. Then next would be the angle which we are starting with and then after we have the angle which we end with and then finally the last value would be are we going to have counterclockwise circle or not or a curve that is counterclockwise or not so counterclockwise. So what I want to do now is instead of drawing any arc first, I want to put in some variables here because these angles here are crucial to understand. And understanding the starting point is a very important part. So what I'm going to do here very quickly is we're going to create some text and these texts will consist of, well, if you understand a circle, a circle consists of uh, 360 degrees, but every part here consists of a certain angle but in a canvas the starting point of the angle of 0 or 360 if we would have a full circle it starts always here at the right side so what I want to do now here is to put in some text and later on I'm going to show you exactly how we're going to draw the circle and then you will see exactly how useful this will be all right so we know it's 360 degrees so the first thing what I want to do then here is just to create some text and I'm going to go very quick on this because I will not focus much on how to write this we will have that very soon as well however this one is very straightforward we have first one is font bold and then let's say 20 pixels in a font family is Arial. next one what I want to do is a ctx.fill style because we're going to give it a color and this color will be white and here we're going to say the following ctx.fill text and this allows us to draw the text here. So here we will have specific text. And then here we will have the X and Y coordinates of where we're going to draw it. What I need now is basically the coordinates that we have here. And I'm figuring out where they are in the position. And then we can give it the matching number. Remember, this is zero. But if we go down here, like a quarter of a degree or 25% in, in 360, that would mean that this would be 90 degrees. This will be 180 degrees, and this one will be 270 degrees. So that is what we're going to do. So that will be a very nice visual. So first of all, then let's get uh, well. Let's get the top here. So what is the top here? If the top would be 270, we need to remember that. So the very top would be the lowest point here. And if I'm not mistaken, it should be well. It was 150, and we can just grab this one here. I'm just going to grab this, which is 450, uh, and then 150 here. Now, all right, so copy this. Let's put it in there. And here I'll just say 270. And if I save this, refresh, there we are. So now we have the 270 degree. So what I want to do here now is I want to just copy this three more times. Here I will say, if that's 270, this one will be zero or 360. This one will be 90 degrees. And I will explain later on as well why 360. And this one will be 180 degrees. So, Let's get the next one here. If the upper one here, if I'm not mistaken, that was the upper one, was that. So this one here should be the next one. And if I copy this, and this is going down, uh, let's see, it goes down to 600 pixels. Oh, no, sorry, it goes to the uh, 600 pixels. That should be this one here. So what we have is going to here more to the right side, and that will be the right one. So this is the right one. So what I'm going to say here, this is top. Most likely this is right, so if I save this, refresh, all right, that works. So then, what did I want to do here then is I want this one to be 
bottom and finally here left so left most likely here well I guess this one should be the left one I'll just grab this here the 280 it should be left and finally here and yeah, this one here starting point is 90 save that refresh there we are so now we have this here and this becomes very very important because now we have the degree and if you remember here I was talking about the starting angle and the ending angle you can probably figure out now this is the starting angle but we can of course specify the specific degree and that will control the angle here so don't worry about it I'm going to explain that so the first thing what I want to do now is then start working on this so what I'm going to do here I want to explain then of course what is a radius so, so you have an understanding of it so basically the radius would be the line from here to there if there would be the circle depending on how big the circle is how many pixels one radius is basically the how is the half of a circle so well let me just draw it and then you will we'll see it so the first thing what I'm going to do here ctx begin path and then in here what I'm going to say here is well ctx dot uh, stroke style and this stroke style will be equal to light blue I'll just make a light color so it's easy to spot the next thing what I want to do here will be a ctx dot line width we can just give it 10 pixels and then we're going to add up next one and this is an optional however I want to use this now because I'm going to show you that this is the radius so we're going to say here our starting point remember what was our starting point here or the SP from the previous video you can look here we had here the starting point of SP that is 450 pixel on X and 300 pixels on the Y value so I'm going to say here this will be the starting point so I'm going to say here this and then we say here move to and this is optional I'm going to explain it later on why optional and later on we're going to remove that now once we did that what we want to do next is then to say here ctx.arc and now we're going to use we're going to use the x and y and the x and y is just the same value here I'm going to put it here and then what I want to do here, comma, I want to hit a radius. So in this case, let's say our radius will be 50, 50 pixels. That would mean, and I'm going to say a constant radius. So that would mean 50 pixels is the radius. That would mean that 50, there will be a line. And then the half of the line would be 50 pixels of radius. I'm going to, later on you will see that. And then let's say angle start. For now, we don't have anything yet. So I'm just going to put in here 0, a comma, uh, 3, or 90 90 that will be fine and then after it I'm going to set this on false which is the counterclockwise once I did this ctx dot stroke and then start drawing it save this refresh all right so now we have this here but however this circle here is still not really complete we are still not done here we did here something but this here is the angle start and what we need to do now is we need to break down this one so if you are familiar in math or mathematics we have the term pi and what we need to do here we need to break this down because the value right now here is not correct because we don't have the pi so what I'm going to do here I'm going to say the following and this is what we can call our angle and what I mean by angle is the uh, the specific angle degree because here basically what we are really saying here we want to start from 0 up to 90 but for some reason it makes a full circle this full circle is what we call parameter so that's very important to remember so what I'm going to do now is then how do we break this down well here's the thing let's say here angle and then we have here math dot pi which is a command in JavaScript and what we're really going to do here this is what math dot pi means or basically pi one circle one full circle equals two pi so a half circle would be one pi so what we need to do that would mean if a half circle would be uh, meaning one pi it means that one half circle or one pi equals 180 degrees so two pi would be 360 a full circle so if you understand this you figure out that if you want to get the exact angle or degree what I need here is to divide this by 180 so we get a single degree 
And with this angle, we can now multiply our item here. So we can just multiply that, and we could also angle multiply this. And once we start to do this, save, refresh, there we are. All right, so don't worry, might might look very complicated. I'm going to, we're going to work on this more. So first of all, let's go back here to make this a full circle of 360. And you can see here now we are starting to have a nice circle. You might notice this here, why is this here? So I was talking about the radius. What I really did here with the move to, I have shown you now, this is what we call the radius. And the radius is basically half of the straight line in a circle. And then if you want to have the full straight line, it's basically what we call the diameter. And the diameter is basically two times the radius. To make it very visible, you can see here in move to, what we could do here is just put it at zero. So then this would be instead of 450, which would indicate here 50, degree, 50 pixels. Now we make it move it here to 400. So we have here 100 pixels. So if I save that, this here is a diameter. And basically there's red one here, this line here, which is the half part of it, could be, is a radius. All right, so we have this now, and now you understand this is basically our radius if we put it on 450 pixels. I save that, there you are. That's the radius here. So of course we don't need this. This was just for demo purposes to show you. If I save this now, you can see here now we have a full circle nicely. So we have this angle here. And let's say we want to change something, because if you ever work with chart.js, you want to make maybe segments of a slice of a pie, especially in donut chart. This is a very common one. So let's say we only want to have this degree here. So how do we do this? Well, you can see here now we know these numbers. So we know here 270. And remember, this angle here indicates the starting angle. And this is the ending angle. So if I want to start, I will say 270 is the starting point. And all up to 360 or 0. Well, in this case, we can just say 360. That will be fine. So I say here, 270 is the angle degree. And then continue on until we hit 360 in angle degree. Refresh. There we are. So now we could do exactly, we can do a full for a half circle here. From this, from 270 going to 90. And we can put in here 90, and then we have a half circle. So, for example, you want another item in, in the chart very common. You have multiple slices here. Maybe you have a specific one that is a 45 degree angle. So, let's put in here 45. You can see here this will accept and it can do anything. We could do here all kinds of numbers here, maybe uh, 77. Let's see what happens. There we are. So, we can do with this. And with this, we can play around. This is the most important part because basically with this, we could create certain forms of curved lines. What I want to show you as well is what happens if we do a counterclockwise. Because now, right now, you can see we are just clockwise. So if I set this on true, save this, and I refresh, you can see what is happening now. You might expect to have just a very small angle, but no. What happens is it starts at the starting point and then it rotates back completely until it hits that specific ending angle, which is 77 degrees. So if you would have, for example, here just a short one, let's say a 90 degree angle here, or at least this slice here, to get this, we need to start at 0 or 360 and then go to 270. So let's put it here. Uh, zero and then we can say here 270 if I save that Refresh there we are. So what if we want to do from 180? To, to 270 then we need to start at 270 and then go back to 180 here So we're going to start at 270 and we go and the ending will be 180 save that refresh all right, but then if I set this on false So it will be again clockwise instead of counterclockwise save this refresh and there we are so with this and of course we can in increase the size of the radius that would mean that we will also increase the size of the uh, circle so if i save that refresh and there you are because now the radius is 100 so that would mean the diameter would be twice the radius equals 200 and this is basically the most important part to understand it might look complicated but once you see it with this it starts to become very easy i would say play around with it 
so you get very familiar with how the art works.